Alright, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout New Vegas series of Dry Wells, where today we are right we left off in the last episode here inside of the Temporary Hunter's Lodge, where today we'll hopefully be working with them to retake the proper one across the river. I'm very much hoping for good things there because, well... I mean, I want to see inside the lodge, hopefully find the next one of these exploration notes. Boy, I don't actually know how many of them there are. We're still holding on to that final one until we get the other spot. <laughs> oh boy, we'll see. The second one should hopefully be in the lodge there. And it'll also be nice once helping them out with that, I should get access to a vendor in the area, at least another vendor, with a gauge over there. And all in all, I just kind of like the idea of helping out these hunter guys. So let's have a chat with Trudy, and I believe, now that we've done those other hunts for her, that uh, we should now be ready for taking the lodge. Hi, Trudy. Hey there. Hi. So, what's next? Is there any more work now that I'm part of the Hunter's Guild? What's next is the big one. It's time to retake our home. Nice. Rick has been preparing for this quite a while now. Uh-huh. Speak to him when you're ready to get started. Oh, okay. Why do I have to come to you first then? Weird. All right, Rick. Hi. Hello again. Hi. How's it going? So, I'm ready to retake the lodge with you. Great. I think we're ready to go. Some of the hunters are outside, ready for our assault. When you're ready, go out to the bridge and meet them. Okay, we will do. If you need any supplies or want a hunting shotgun, speak to Gage. He'll get you geared up before the fight. I mean, I'm definitely going to talk to him to hopefully get some more will enter bullets. The front door and assault the Night Stalkers head on. I'll be entering the basement to pincer them from behind. Oh, you're going to die, aren't you? If all goes well, we'll meet in the middle. Alive. Fingers crossed. Yeah, he's going to die, isn't he? <laughs> hey, Gage. I mean, I don't care to get a uh, hunting shotgun. That's not really our thing, but... I'm hoping for some ammunition. Hi, Gage. Howdy. Howdy. So, we're about to retake the lodge. Rick said you'd have some gear for me. Yep, I set aside some goods for you in case you needed it. Here you go. Good luck. I'll see you on the other side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got a hunting shotgun. What else? Oh, I should have, I should have, I should have known. Just 12 gauge. <laughs> I mean, the anti-venom's good. Ooh, doctor's bag. And that was it. <laughs> Honestly, the anti-venom in the doctor's bag was the best part. I don't really use shotguns for our other things. So, uh, all right. But yeah, the anti-venom will be important. We are going up against uh, poisonous creatures, so... Oh boy, we'll see how that pans out. Also, why is Rick the only one going in through the basement? That just... That sounds like an awful plan. He is definitely gonna die, isn't he? <laughs> Should at least one other person roll with him in there? Oh well, oh well. Which gun do I want to use? Sleepy time would probably be best. But I haven't used you in a while. Yeah, let's use this. We are hunting, after all. <laughs> I mean, granted, in close quarters inside of a lodge with Night Stalkers. Yeah, sleepy time's probably the best option. <laughs> what is the per shot, per shot damage on that other rifle, though? I always forget. Angel Dust. DPS 77 on there, damage 52. Hmm, what the hell? I... Don't remember this. I assume it came from the Boom to the Moon quest. Huh. It uses microfusion cells? So it's not a grenade. What the hell are you? Wow, that's hideous. <laughs> oh yeah, that's definitely got to have come from the Boom Boom to the Moon quest line. Oh hey, look, I already actually had a hunting shotgun. Cool, sweet. Uh, sleepy time. What's your DPS? 190. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll just stick with sleepy time. All right. Well, let's go. I do like my other guns, but sleepy time just works too well. 
All right, experienced member. We've got uh, just normal hunters guild, normal hunters guild, normal hunters guild, and then one singular experienced member. Well, they're all gonna die. <laughs> All right, high experienced member. Hope you're ready, because we're heading in now. Let's take the fight to these Night Stalkers and get mm -hmm. our home back. Indeed, let's do it. Good, stay close and keep your gun out. We're going to spread out once we get inside to make sure we have room to shoot. Mm -hmm. Here's a key in case you need it. Let's do this. Sweet, thanks. Well, it seems weird just having a gecko head off of your, your hip like that. I mean, why? 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 All right, well, let's go. I'm going to beat him there. Ooh, probably shouldn't be wasting all my action points with running right now. I'm going to need him once we get in. Oh, boy, we got Night Stalkers to kill. Uh, all right, in we go. All right, let's see what's what. We got one there. Don't really have great shots on him. There we go. He's around the post a little bit. Still not the greatest of shots. Okay, now I should have a better shot. There we go. Who's next? Reload. Boy, we've got a lot of them around here. And they're just waltzing around? Okay, I mean... Angel doesn't come in handy right now. Never mind. I screwed it. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, one came from the side. I didn't notice him. Uh, cool. He is jumping down those steps. Okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys actually just running in, huh? Oh, you are gonna die. Oh, okay. Hold on, vats. Oh, yeah. I think that person's about to be dead. All right, well, let's help him out. Let's get a body torso shot on it. And there we go. There we go. Good, good, good. Oh, I shot her in the leg. That's not great. Oh, boy, this is why I always hate fighting with NPCs. There we go. Lovely. I'd rather just do the work myself. All right, the rest are out there. Oh boy, we've got a lot more in here than the icons are showing. Plus, also, the icons are still on the dead ones, which is worrisome. Oh, I got another one on my feet! Crap! Alright, that one's down. Oh, holy balls! Alright, you're dead. Okay, okay. Oh, I am almost dead. Oh, boy. Hey, I think we just completed it, though. They all came after me at the end. <laughs> yeah, let's take one of you just in case. There we go. Poison removed. And we're going to need a couple of stims, I think. All right. I need one more. There we go. Well, that's a lot of dead fools. I'll take that. Slur combat music! Oh, God. There we go. That one's down. I already have the hunter's lodge key. So I don't need another. I assume I'm supposed to go outside for that. <laughs> Even though there are still some in here. Concentrated near the basement. Discover the source of the infestation. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, first, though. Yeah, we got a lot of... I knew they were all going to be dead up here. <laughs> I knew it the second that they all spread out. Oh, and there's more. Steel? Hey, abominable perk. Ring two. Wow, really? Only ring two? I would have thought by now with our level we'd have a lot more. Oh, well, you're dead. I'll take that. Yeah, actually, how do we... I guess there's some more to the lodge that way downstairs. We'll just make sure we're clear of all the uh, Night Stalkers up here, though, first. 
Yeah, it looks like we should be good. We'll check out all the other rooms later. There we go. So. Yeah, you died too, you fool. Okay. Oh man, you too. Jeez, yeah, they all went down. A lot of these are, of course, from previ the previous fight, I assume, considering there are a lot more bodies in here than there were originally. Also, yeah, I probably should have turned that on earlier. Well, we're going into the basement, so we'll definitely need some more light, I assume. Oh, body. Oh, hey, guys! Oh, you lived! And a Legion dude, of course. Well, I don't think I needed that anymore. Hey, Rick. What the hell is going on here? Dead legionaries? Shock collars? There's a note on this one's body. Mm-hmm. Leave the basement and activate the device to remove all the collars at once. The Night Stalkers will rampage and take care of the hunters. Yeah, I mean, what? kind of figure that's how it was going. Signed, Kenturian Gaius Magnus. What the hell? Gaius ordered for us to be wiped out? Why would he do that? Because he's kind of a dick? <laughs> Rick, calm down. You can't take Gaius on alone. There's only a few hunters left. Don't tell me to fucking calm down. Gaius killed us all. He murdered so many. I've spent my whole life building up this guild. And now it's gone. What the hell do we do now? I mean, it's not quite gone. You just, a lot of them are. Watch the fortress, gather hunters, and bide your time. There will be a chance for revenge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go now, you're definitely all going to die. What's left for you here? The hunter's guild might as well be gone. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bide your time. Yeah. It's risky, but I think it's the right move. We need to rebuild our strength before we can do anything else. Exactly. We aren't even in a position to leave Dry Wells if we wanted to. With all our injured and the dead we need to bury. Oh yeah, you got a lot of dead. I'll move the hunters to this side of the river, and we'll bide our time. If you find an opportunity for us to strike back, please let me know. Okay, I so, said, yeah, definitely if you, uh... Here, oh, you know, yeah. take this. You played a crucial part in us reclaiming our home. And we are forever in your debt. Thank you. No problem, Rick. What do we get? What do we get? Waiting for it. Again, karma. Reclaim the wild is done. Hunter's trail carbine. Eh, boring. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is giving you another option and more allies for if you do decide to screw with the Legion while you're here in Dry Wells rather than assisting them. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of nifty. You can find some allies here. Though I'm actually a little bit surprised by the Night Stalker shock collar thing. I just kind of figured the Legion, like, drove a pack of them this way. You know, old school style. Nah, man, they had, like, a whole, whole system. I'll take those Denarius. Ooh, ammo. Hello. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, though, their use of shock collars, considering Legion and all with their usual slave collars. But. Service rifle? No, don't need that. Don't need any of that either. So I'm assuming this heads back out to dry wells. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We don't need that now. We need to go back upstairs and look around for that note. That I assume is there. Note number two for exploration notes. Doesn't look like it'll be down here with everything. Alright. Ooh. More anti-venom. <laughs> I think we're probably good for the for anti-venom now, but you never have too much anti-venom. Alright, back up I go. And yeah, let's just turn on our light. We don't really need the uh, the tactical system on and all. Let's use good old fashioned. Oh, come on! Why is it steel? I'm a hunter now. I'm their friend. 
I helped them save this place. Dang. All right, check all the rooms. I assume if we come back later on, the place might be cleaned up of, of at least all the corpses, perhaps. We'll see, though. Yeah, that's all steel. Looking for a note. Exploration note number two. Some Brahmin stinks. Yeah, if they all wouldn't have split up, I probably could have helped keep them alive, but no. They all split up and all got themselves killed. You dang fools. Alright. Alright, let's go check back this direction. Make sure I also looted all the hunters of their sweet, sweet ammunition. And Legion Denarius. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely didn't notice anyone in here. I didn't even check out the... The kitchen. Well... Place has definitely seen better days. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, it was all back here. A computer I can't use. Small Scorch book. There's not going to be a note in here, is there? You know, I just kind of assumed because of the exploration note number one. Talking about the lodge, I figured if there was going to be a second note. That'd be where it is. It still might be. Let's double check back here. Nope, no tables or anything. Also, no railing. Jeez, that is not safe. That is clearly a code violation. Uh, I guess this is their makeshift... I was about to say makeshift medical area, but then they have a reloading bench. <laughs> Weird. Open here. No, not seeing any notes. I mean, we got more rooms to check, though. Check over here. Their radio room, I guess. Weapon repair kit, nice. Harmonica, even better. I mean, I doubt it would be in the bathroom, but you never know. You never know. We'll check this. Nope. All right. Yeah, again, I'm kind of wondering if when we come back in here... One, I'm hoping the place will be clean. Unless, you know, all the... All the corpses gone and such. Two... I'm hoping that maybe the stuff in here won't be steel anymore. Because it might still be con just considering we just became friends with them. So maybe the area holding area needs to reload upon exit or something along those lines. I don't know. But with my luck, no, nah, we're just screwed. <laughs> And I'll never be able to... Also, that is a really high urinal. The hell? <laughs> that would be, um... Difficult to use? Hello, teddy bear. Ah, dang it, I keep seeing those just random papers around thinking... Ooh, no! Oh. Oh, you're dead. Well, I am not seeing a note. We only got two rooms left. Um, oh, maybe in the safe? I mean... It's hard locked, but, you know... I'm already in here. <laughs> I already lost the karma for opening it. Might as well. And we gained karma from helping them. So, you know, it evens out. Yep, didn't find it out. I mean, I might just be blind as a bat and missed it somewhere. 
So I'll probably check again off cam just to see, but dang, I really figured we would have seen it somewhere. God, yeah, just seeing all these papers scattered about. Every time I see it, I go, oh, babe, no, nope, no. Nope. You know, there is also the armory building. Hmm. I wonder if we can get in there now. Ooh, ooh. Requires key. Ah, Hunter's Armory is its own thing. All right, now I'm kind of intrigued to see if anything happens with this place. So with the advancement of time. So we're going to use this bedroll that I've used before. And then we're going to go back in after a good, like, ten hours of sleep. God, I wish I could get that sort of sleep IRL. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll off camera take another look around the place just to make sure I didn't miss it somewhere. But yeah, let's go see if... Actually, you know what? Just a quick little look off to the side over here. I assume, yeah, there's where the basement is. And yeah, let's let's see let's see if anything's different in here. Out of curiosity, nope, that's still a lot of bodies. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I don't know if that's ever going to change or if that's just going to perpetually be there forever. Hey guys, you good? Yeah, you you can move upstairs now. Engage. The the armory is all up there. All right, fine. I'm out. <laughs> May just take them more time. I don't know. I don't know. But for now, back over this way. You know, now I'm just... I don't know if we're ever going to find that other exploration note. We might as well go ahead and read that final one then. <laughs> I was holding on to it thinking we'd find note number two. And then we could go from there. But what the hell? Let's just read it. To whomever, to whomever reads this, this will likely be my final note. Seems this cave is not the best place to set up a base camp. Oh, God, no, it's full of Yagwai. As I'm now stuck in a dead end, it seems I have a visitor. I can hear something huge lurking around the cave. I've set traps, but it's a matter of time before I'm found. And whatever is lurking sounds like too large for even a bear trap. I will never see New Vegas. I will never bask in its light and see the pinnacle of civilization. Well, Jesus, if Vegas is your idea of a pinnacle of civilization, oh boy. My final destination will not be reached, but my journey was not a complete failure. I have realized this land is unsafe under the rule of the Twisted Hares, and I fear for what they might do for the good people who live here. I made the mistake of exploring deep into their territory. Against all warnings, I accept my own fate. I leave my belongings to whoever finds this note. Well, I definitely did take all the things, so... Nifty. I wonder if we'll ever find the other exploration notes. You know what? Before we actually go check out some of the other things I want to see, we never did check out the, um... This building. Let's see what's in the barracks. Why is everything steel? We're buddies now. Man. All right, I'm out. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do with the rest of the time we've got today is poke around some of the other buildings we haven't gone to yet. Next episode is when I think we'll do this one. And I'm still curious if there's going to be other slaves we can free to. Oh, yeah, and we got to speak to Thomas for her as well. But, um, but yeah, since it's part one, I'm kind of assuming maybe there might be other people we can free. Man, let's check out some of the other buildings, see what's what. Random Drywell's home. Yeah, why not? Oh, hi! Hey. Hey. You do well to serve the Legion. Okay, cool, cool. I didn't, I didn't like when I heard you pulling out a knife when I entered your home. All right, probably going to be the same thing with this one, huh? public restrooms. Yeah, it's gonna be what you expect. Check out the stores here in a moment, though. That is something we gotta go into for another quest. Drywell's bungalow. Bigger on the inside, as per usual. 
Pre-war casual wear. All right. Not a whole lot in there. All right, so that's the slave offices. Let's go check out the doctor's place. Ooh, go, oh God, major frame drops there. Hello, Villa Residence. Arizona Wastelander. There's Medicus Felix. Hi, no, wake up, sir. Hello, how are you? Hey there. Do you need any medical attention? You know, I really don't at the moment. But who are you? I'm Felix. I'm the head physician here in Dry Wales. I can patch you up, but you'll have to pay for the supplies as you are the Legion subject. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got it. And what's your relationship like with the Legion? The Legion and the physicians, like myself, have a pretty unique relationship. We're obliged to help the troops and subjects without much pay. Uh huh. In return, we are provided safety, stability, and a better standard of living than most. The Countess Remus ordered this house cleared for my practice. You okay? This building was used to house veteran legionaries. Can you believe that? I get better quarters than most of Kaisar's finest. <laughs> All right. Things are limited sometimes, and I can only use doctor's bags and herbal items. But there are exceptions for higher ranking officers. Yeah, of course there are. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have any medical supplies for sale? I do. Let me know if you'd like anything. Okay, okay. Yeah, I do like with what he he was saying, mostly herbal items and the like. So I do actually kind of like that that's what he mostly has in here. Nifty. Also, for some reason, he has a lot of Legion Denarius. Weird. All right, and okay, that's it, bye-bye. Stay safe out there. My radiation and health is all fine right now. Man, that was kinda, kinda interesting though. So we didn't have your typical medical supplies. Oh, hey, blue bottle star cap. Eh, it's steel though, and I'm literally surrounded by people right now. Legion subject, all right, let's go check out this building. This was Tony's Barber Shop. I assume you're Tony. Hey, Tony. Welcome to Tony's Barber Shop. You're speaking to the man himself. <laughs> How can I help you? Well, let's find out. What is this place? Welcome to my shop, pal. You're in good hands with me. This is the best barber shop east of the Colorado. Oh. Hell. It might be the only barber shop east of the Colorado. Possible. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. But I can clean you right up if you want. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm fine. So uh, what's your story? My story? I'm Tony, owner and operator of Tony's Barber Shop here in Dry Wells for uh, going on four years now. Oh, where are you I'm before originally that? from back east and not uh, Colorado east like most of these guys. I'm from Jersey, Atlantic City. How the hell did you end up here? Lost all my caps out there and had to hitch a ride with some caravans headed west. Ah, got it. Running from debts. And is that an elevator? Oh, yeah, the elevator-like doors right there. Yeah. Is that an elevator? Oh, ain't that thing cool? When I first moved in here, it wasn't working, but uh, Dan over at the villa helped me get it running. Oh. Sure was a pain in the ass getting up there with the stairs removed. Pretty sure some quirky guy owned the place before me. Had it all swapped out. Interesting. I got a ladder set up back there, too, in case the power goes out. I'm screwed if it breaks for good. Can't imagine getting a mattress upstairs again. Oh, yeah, that's always a pain, even with even with stairs. So how's business with the Legion around? Hey, hey, let's keep these questions cool. Kai's is not too bad. I'll give him credit where it's due. He keeps the lights on and everything running. I gotta give his boys haircuts for free, and he technically owns the place. But they have no problem with me living here and making some money. Uh-huh. Most of the troublemakers left town when the Legion rolled through, and the villa has a lot of customers. Business is booming, baby. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. One time, I had a guy not pay for his haircut, so I yelled at him down the street. Saw a Legionary chase him down and just... <clears throat> cut the poor guy's hand off. Damn. Kind of felt like it was my fault, you know? I mean, he did steal, but still, and it's a bit much. I mean, can we get a haircut? Sure can. 100 caps is all you need, pal. 
Eh, I mean, I've got it, but I don't actually care to get a header cut right now. I was just curious if he actually did, but he does seem to, so neat. Ah, oh, looks like we got a cheapskate over here. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Come back when you're ready for a cut, all right? Okay. I'm gonna snoop upstairs. Where's the ladder you were talking about? Oh. Nope. I just had to interact with that. Never mind. <laughs> all right. Well, he doesn't seem to have anything really all that much up here. Okay. Nifty elevator, though. <laughs> all right, let's go check out the store next door. Oh, wait. Ah, Villa Resident. Okay, all right, so that was the other person. And then, yeah, we've got the Sun Scorch supplies. Let's go see what this place is. Oh, you're the employee. Villa resident, Villa resident. Clearly, the person sitting here is who we need. Hi, Sam. Hey there. Welcome to Sun Scorch Supplies. We've got all you need, so there's no need to look anywhere else. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, hey, what is this place? You're shopping at Sun Scorch Supplies, the best general store available in Drywells. Hmm. We specialize in. Uh, well, we don't really specialize in anything. But we have a little bit of everything. Okay. Well, can I get something repaired here? Let me grab my tools. Oh, he does. Cool, 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 cool. Eh, I mean, it could use a fix. Oh, my poor cowboy hat. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We'll at least get these things fixed. This repair skill isn't great, but, mm, yeah, got me a little more. Sure, why not? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what you got. Take a look. Not much else with Sam here. Oh, an advanced radiation suit. Lovely. Wait, what I had was just a normal radiation suit, right? Oh, no, no, just advanced. Okay, cool. Okay, so he's got a displacer glove, multi plans rifle, pull cue, recharger pistol. Neat. Apparel. Pretty typical things. Normal radiation suit there as well. Nifty though. Eight items. I was curious if there would be alcohol, but uh, no, clearly not. <laughs> Legion territory and all. Which again, makes no sense to me. Romans love their booze. Uh, that seems like more of a Kaiser hang-up than anything. And ammo I don't need. I was hoping for a little bit more out of you, Sam, but all right. Have a good one. I'm going to go snoop around. Don't mind me. Let's see if there's anyone else around here. What do we got upstairs in your home? Oh. Got that. Yeah, nothing of value. Well, I mean, certainly things. Oh, that's just a random employee. Alright, I was hoping for something a little bit more interesting, but nope. Alright. Well, out we go. Got it, got it, got it. So that's for all the people outside the villa. I think next episode we'll talk to people inside the villa and also work on this uh, unshackled. Because we got to talk to Thomas anyways in the villa, so I think that'll be a good time to chat with some others. We have done a little bit of chatting with people at the bar. That was it? Did we talk to anyone else that I'm not remembering right now? Off the top of my head? I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, that's going to be it for this particular episode today. In the next one, yeah, we'll chat with people here and go help free that one lady from her servitude and see how that all does pan out. But hopefully you all have enjoyed this one and you do come back for whatever is next. Until that time, thank you for watching as always. We'll have a good one.